What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right? So today we've got another huge try-on spring clothing haul for you. I got it all from ASOS, but it's from a few different brands. So we've got Weekday, River Island, Bershka, Pull&Bear. Some very nice bits in here. We've got a very big bag, to be honest. We'll open it up, get straight into the video. If you do enjoy these sorts of videos, don't forget to drop them a like, and I'll link everything in the description down below if you do like any of this stuff. People always tell me about weekday, so I wanted to get a few pieces from there and see what the fuss is about. It's really affordable, and it looks pretty nice to be honest. So we've got stuff from weekday, Bershka, Pull and Bear, Jack and Jones, I think Jameson Carter as well. But some really nice stuff for spring. The weather is getting a bit better now, so let's get into the video, guys, right? I think we'll start off with the jacket. So first item I picked up was this varsity jacket from Bershka in a size what size did we get went for a size extra large try it on underneath we've just got one of the brand new white premium sulfate tees on and we've got the sulfate infinity joggers this t-shirt here i'm wearing the brand new premium tees i'm wearing an extra large just because i want it to be a bit more of like a, an oversized fit very similar to a bomber jacket isn't it the fit and the style with the same colors it's just the design but extra large fits me absolutely perfectly i think i could get away with a large if i had a bit more of a slimmer fit but i do tend to want a bit more of a relaxed fit nowadays so this is perfect for me i really like the color like a, a stone cream color it's not got the zip pockets but it's got the press studs so can't really complain with that very nice very ideal really comfy nice lightweight jacket for springtime goes well with the sulfit tea oh lovely so this sunday we've got two new releases for sulfit clothing i've not done a t-shirt release on sulfit for a while but i wanted to make these premium t-shirts as good as they can be so we've got this really nice beige stone color and I've got the white one. You can't go wrong with a white t-shirt for spring, summer, can you? So like I said, I wear size extra large because I want them to be a little bit more oversized. They're very similar to the last premium tee. So if you like those ones, these ones are going to be even better. Make sure you keep your eyes out. They'll be releasing this Sunday at 7 p.m. Very nice color, this. Nice color palette. Spot on. We've got a few more Sulfit releases coming as well. Oversized tee, which I know I've been talking about for a while. But they'll be coming towards the end of the month, start of May and a polo shirt believe it or not just a button polo shirt similar color palette these two will be releasing together very ideal so next up we've got this zip through coach jacket from jameson carter believe it or not they actually sell on asos as well I did a haul on them last year for like some summer sets but i wasn't that impressed the material wasn't the best but so this is really nice i went for a size large because they didn't have the xl in stock and it fits me like spot on She's so got the branding on the left sleeve there. Really nice quality, a really nice colour. I'd say it's a bit more of like a, a worker jacket, a worker coach jacket. Spot on to be fair, the fit is bang on for me. Yeah, really nice. Honestly, lightweight jackets for me for spring, summer, are just the one. I absolutely love them because sometimes when you just wear a t-shirt, outfit just looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So adding a, a couple of nice jackets to your wardrobe can just make outfits look so much better. I fancied a nice zip hoodie, you know. I do love a zip hoodie. People, I always put it on my stories like a pole pullover or zip hoodies. People do tend to prefer pullover. I do like zip. Zip's nice because you can take it on and off without fucking your hair up, can't you? So this is from weekday and it was 35 quid. I went for a size extra large. All right, maybe I should have got a large in this just because it's quite baggy, it's quite oversized. Yeah, a large would have fit me better. I like them to be a bit more relaxed, but I don't want them to be too oversized, you know what I mean? It's in like a really nice olive khaki colour though. Nice material. Weekday maybe could be the new one for the basics. I do need to do another Uniqlo, 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 however you pronounce it, all. And Cos as well. Like I keep going on about Cos, Arquette is another one, so keep your eyes peeled for upcoming videos. Yeah, it's not bad this to be fair. So next up is a weekday overshirt in a really nice material. It's kind of like a bit waffled. Don't know if you can see, I'll have to come quite close. You can see the texture on it there. 
Really nice. I went for a size large. I think this is supposed to be like an oversized fit. So good job I didn't get XL because it's already pretty big on me. Um, tell you what, I don't know if I could even get away with a medium on this, you know. Weekday maybe could be one of those brands that runs quite big, I'd say. Which is quite nice because a lot of brands always run quite small. Like Zara, for example. It's a nice change, but obviously when you're trying a new brand, you don't really know what the sizing is like, do you? So... It's nice, really nice, 40 quid. Nice and lightweight, be good for a night out. Or in like with a nice sulfate premium tea underneath. Goes very well. Yeah, it's decent. It's not my favorite overshirt, but it's not bad. Definitely prefer the H&M ones. This is a bit more of a lighter weight one, so it'd be better for summer when it's obviously a bit warmer. So if you're just getting into men's fashion and you're wearing basic outfits, I feel like a way where you can spruce up an outfit is accessories. And I always talk about them on my channel. Today's video sponsor, Rose Gold and Black, fully hook it up. So they've got minimal beaded bracelets, like this one I'm wearing here. They do rings. I don't usually wear rings, but I really like this one. And then they've got loads of different styles of necklaces. I've got a little pendant one on here, just in black. Loads of different colours as well. So if you want to spruce up an outfit and make an outfit complete, I feel like accessorising is a really good way to do that with necklaces, bracelets, rings. So go and check them out. There'll be a link right at the top of the description. The best minimal men's accessories, in my opinion. I've been working with these guys now for four years, maybe. And I tell you what, guys, I've still not come across a jewellery brand which is as good value and really nice minimal designs as rose gold and black. So make sure you go and check them out. There'll be a link right at the top of the description and you can use my code Josh Sull to get a bit of an extra discount. Go and get involved. Right, next up we've got another bit of a Czech overshirt. This is from Pull and Bear. So I'm guessing this is gonna be very cheap. Yeah, so this was 25.99. Relaxed fit, size extra large. See what he's saying. So yeah, this is even more lightweight than the weekday one. A size extra large, maybe I could have got a large. This is the only annoying thing when you're in between sizes, isn't, isn't it? Trying to figure out what size you are. So um, I'd either size down or stick true to size. I would definitely not size up in this. Just depends what sort of fit you want. It's a bit more like an oversized. Relaxed check shirt. I feel like relaxed check shirts are really nice to have in the wardrobe. A nice flannel shirt. Especially for this time of year. Something easy to throw on and you can always like take it off if you're on a night out or going out on a date for a few drinks. You can just take it off, can't you? And just wear the t-shirt underneath. Yeah. So I actually wanted to try one of the t-shirts as well. I got an oversized t-shirt in large. I'm thinking now maybe a medium would have been better for me. Let's see anyway. I am liking weekday at the minute. Some of the stuff seems like decent quality, especially for the price. Really affordable. Yeah, I mean, when they say oversized, they definitely mean oversized. It's definitely more of like a boxy oversized tee. I think I might be a medium in these because obviously I like an oversized tee, but I don't want them to be too big. Like the new sulfate ones, for example. If I compared these two, oh, we've got a visitor. Callie's making her way in. You're right. What are you doing? So if I can compared these two, the fit on this would probably be, say, the medium on the weekday, which is what I wanted. I didn't want an oversized t-shirt to be too big. Anyway, so the first one we've got is from Pull and Bear, twenty-two ninety-nine for a hoodie. That is so cheap. Not as cheap as H and M, but I tell you what, it's very close. I think the quality is better on the Pull and Bear one than the H&M as well. Extra large I went for. Definitely the right fit. It's like the right amount of oversized. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. It's very nice. I really like the colour as well. What do you think of the colour of it? Super comfy. Could we even wear a t-shirt underneath this and it's still going to look good. It's got like a weird mesh pocket inside. No, like for, for your phone or something. You know what I need to do? I need to do another represent haul because some of the owners club stuff, they're bringing out like new colors. I think like powder blue, it looks unreal. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a represent haul. I know it's a different price bracket, but it still does look really nice. 
All right, another hoodie. Oh, did you Another hoodie we got was from Weekday. I'm thinking this might be too big now. So this is a size large. I think it's oversized, but maybe I'm a medium in Weekday. I'll have to do another Weekday haul with the right sizes. Yeah, they definitely mean oversized when they say oversized. This is a large on me, and it's fucking massive. It's gigantic, that. Look at me. Like an apple again. It's like reliving that video from a few months ago. Bloody hell. Yeah. Like I said before, I like oversized, but not when it's bloody this oversized. Don't even know if it, maybe a medium would even be too big for me. Feels nice quality, but I definitely prefer the fit of the pull and bear hoodie. The pull and bear hoodie was spot on. That was very, very nice. It was lovely. Right, we've got a pair of trainers, believe it or not, from Pull and Bear. These bad boys are from Pull and Bear. I think they were twenty nine ninety nine, and they actually look decent. Like, they just look like a pair of like white and black trainers. I remember when I got a pair from Bershka. I think it was twenty twenty, and they were like twenty five quid. And everyone, when I posted them on like my YouTube, everyone bought them. They were they were honestly the one. They had like a nice chunky sole, so I feel like these are similar. I think I've still got those Bershkas. You see. Oh yeah, yeah there they are. Oh, I still got those bishkas. Just don't really wear them that much. Need to clean them bad boys. Right, so to go with the trainers, we've got some more cargos from Jack and Jones. These are in a size large. Actually, not bad. You know, like a nice light khaki colour. Got like a bit of a weird bit on the inside there. You see that? I'm not a massive fan of that. And I will say. They're a little bit cropped as well, they're quite short. They're definitely not as good as the other cargoes I've told you about. These are the cargoes. These bad boys are just honestly unreal. I need to get them. I did get them in a 34 length as well, just because they were, were quite short, but very nice, yeah. They're a nice colour, just not the best fit. The trainers, on the other hand, are mega. Like, I, I really like them, super comfy. Obviously, you're going to go with literally every single outfit you wear. Super affordable. If you're on a budget, if you can't afford a nice pair of trainers, go and get yourself a pair of these. Decent, you know. Yeah, I do actually quite like the cargoes. They're just, they're just not the perfect fit. They're, they're a bit big on the waist and a bit tight around the calves, a bit short. Guys, I was going to show you these as well, but I just put them on there and they're so bad. So apologies for the bare, foot, bare feet, but yeah, I'm not a fan of them. They're from Bershka, they're like a, supposed to be like a nice trouser, but look at them, like clown pants. And the crotch is just way too dropped. Let's get that, these off rapid. So guys, that is everything from the spring try on haul. Some very nice bits in here, as per usual. The jacket from Bershka, the first one absolutely lovely i'm a big fan of this the jacket from jameson carter was decent the hoodie from pull and bear the overshirt from weekday weekday is nice i just need to size down because the sizing is massive so bear that in mind if you do get anything from weekday well yeah that is going to wrap up today's video don't forget to go and check out rose gold and black today's video sponsor if you're in the market for some accessories they're the best in the game go and check them out but yeah i'll catch you on the next video guys take care see you later